What do you think this is? What's this man over here? What do you think this is? I mean, they got a nice stove over here, and they presumably they've got another room over here, but the warts and very the warts and household is very simple. Hello everyone, I am the Moy Chicken, and welcome back to more Legacy of the Wizard. In the last episode, Mayna completed her quest to get her crown, and we've only got one crown left. And that is the crown of the good father, Zemn! We're going back to Zem's area. We are going to grab his glove. He, oh, he can actually do the jump shoes. I didn't know that. Okay. We're going to grab the glove. We're going to grab the punch glove. And uh, I guess we'll get the shoes, too. Why not? Why not? So, uh, yeah. We are going to get Zem's crown now. We, uh, we've we already been to his stage in an earlier episode. And we've gone through a lot of it, actually. Um, but I, I did have to stop because I was not quite ready yet to fight to fight Zem's foe, uh, because I wanted him to be saved for last, because he is the strongest member of the Wurtzen family. I needed to make sure that, uh, make sure that I fought things in the right order, so. Like I said before, my, uh, my first time through the game, I did not. <laughs> fought them in a very bad order, and it made things quite difficult for me, so. Makes more sense to do it this way. When goes Zem? Unfortunately, he is extremely powerful. He's an attack, he's an attack strength 12. Super beef. He's a beefy dad. He's a strong daddy. Don't have to worry about anything. And all the monsters leave him poison, and he's not happy about it, but he deals with it because he is Zem! He's a mighty woodcutter, and that's why he throws axes, because he's a woodcutter, I guess. Everyone else in this family uses magic, but not him. He throws axes at people. <laughs> He's like, the only magic I need is the magic of a good, solid axe. Axe to the face. Bam. All right, so let's see if I can get back, get through this again. Push. Uh, up. Push. 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 Up. Push. One more. Push. Push. There we go. All right. Oh, so we're back to block pushing puzzles, which is exciting, I'm sure. But I mean, it is a cool mechanic, so there is that. I mess it up, I mess it up, I think I mess it up. Fudge. Can, can, can I get some help? Can I, get, mm. can I do anything about this? Oh, that'll work. Okay, so do this. Alright, I want to go... I want to go like this. Eh, go. Nope. Nope, messed it up. <laughs> gonna be a lot of that in this episode where it's just like, ah, oh, this, ah, oh, no, 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 hang on. No, no, mess it up. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Up, up. Okay. Alright. No, nope, messed it up. Messed it up. Messed it up. Messed it up. There we go. Alright. Ah. Nope. Ah, there we go. Aha! Okay. Now we go up here. Yes! Fantastic! <laughs> oh, I mean, it is, like I said, it's a really cool mechanic. It, it works really well once you get used to it, but you just have to get used to it. That's the challenge. <laughs> That's the challenge. Can you get used to the might of Zem Wartzen? The dad. The strong daddy. He's the power daddy. Yes! What is that? I wonder what that treasure is. Sure. So, Alright, need this. Nope. Nope. There we go. Okay. Nope. Okay. Over. Stop. 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 Okay. Okay. Down we go. Over we go. There we go. Nope. Hop. No. Oh. Up. No. <laughs> Up. Kill. No. Incorrect. <laughs> incorrect. There we go. All right. <laughs> all right. We're all right. It's okay. I'm not frustrated at all. <laughs> Someone come over here and give me a boost! <laughs> Somebody! I need a leg up! Come on! You mustache wizards! There we go. 
Thank you. Thank you, Mustache Wizards. Damn. Yes. I'm sure there's some better trick to getting over there, but I just walk across the spikes. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It just breaks my feet. You know, stabs me in the legs. It's fine. I'm okay. I'm 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 Zem Wardson. I don't I don't care. I'm beefy. I'm beefy as heck. Eh. Eh. Go over there. Over. Over. We've already done this before. The audience has seen this already. Faster. Faster. All right. Hello. Let me up. I need a leg up. Come on. Thank you. Uh, so we get this way. Over. Over. Push, push, push. Done. All right, fall down here. All right, so this is the place where I, I fall in the giant mouth again. Um, and... Ooh! Man, he is good when he's he's got the power thing. Just shooting all the way across the room. It's awesome. I don't even need that. Now, I think that there is a way to actually do this without falling. Oh, yeah, like that. <laughs> I think there's a way to do this without falling in. That's how you do it. I don't think you can do that without the speed move. Speed, uh... Uh, scroll though, so there is that. Okay, no, I'm fine. Let's see what I got. I don't want poison though. Can't you not give me poison? Can't you not drop poison? That'd be so cool if you didn't drop poison for me to drink. I'd love to not drop, not drink poison. That'd be wonderful. I'd be like, hey, mom, you know what I did today? And she's like, what'd you do today? I'm like, I didn't drink poison. Isn't that cool? And she's like, that seems like a, a minimum kind of thing to uh, be happy about in a day. And I'm like, yeah, but but I didn't drink poison, Mom. Aren't you proud of me? And she's like, well, of course I'm proud of you, but maybe aspire to greatness and not just, I didn't kill myself with volatile liquid today. Like, Mom, you never support me. <laughs> Why don't you ever watch my videos, Mom? She's like, because I don't care about video games. Oh, it's so true. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Mom. It's all right. I'm not bitter or anything. I'm really not bitter. I got, I got wonderful parents. They're just not interested in, interested in games. But I am. I like video games. Yay! Well, well, I don't need you, Poison. Let's see. I want to move. I guess I'll drink it. I guess I'll drink this poison. It's delicious. Mom, I'm so proud of me. No! Not what I meant to do. Darn it. I push you over. No. Eh. Alright. Eh. Seems like it doesn't help, but it does. Don't worry. That's what I was supposed to do. Now I can do this. Yeah! It's a cool mechanic. As long as you can get it to work. Very cool mechanic. When it works. <laughs> when it works, it's super neat. If it doesn't work, you're like, ah! <laughs> exactly. That is exactly how you feel when this doesn't work. It's just like, ah! All right. Go up. Now, failure. Failure. Hey. Okay. There we go. Oh, actually, kind of thing. I don't think you guys saw this part because I believe I was uh, off camera for this bit of the stage. So, this is all new to you. Not to me, though. I just did it. Oh. Hold on there. Come here. Alright, push. Up. Nope. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Deadly jellyfish. Kill. Kill the de deadly jellyfish. And unrelated news. Just because it's on my mind because I was reading it earlier today. <laughs> I have been reading a very interesting manga. It is called Heaven's Design Team. And it has a very funny premise. The idea behind it is that um, when God was creating all of the animals in the world, uh, God didn't want to um, didn't want to do all the work, and so he contracted the work out to a design co a design uh, studio. And so, like, the whole the whole manga is about the idea of, like, this group of designers who have been tasked with, like, inventing all the animals in the world. And what's really interesting about it is that, like, 
the author did a really good job of showing how various animals have, like, adapted to survive, and, like, the reason some animals, uh, are, like, better equipped to survive and stuff like that. It's just really, it's such an interesting concept to imagine, like, imagine the various, uh, changes that animals have gone through over, the, over many years as, like, various design cycles as they were trying to, like, iron out kinks in the design. I don't know, it's really fun, so. Just a little shout-out to something I've been reading. It's, it's been very entertaining. Oh, and I messed that up. So come down here. Up. Over. Over. Uh, over. Over. Nope. That way. That way. Something I haven't really talked too much about in this game that's really cool. Like, one of the things I like about the setting of this game is this idea that this underground, you know, labyrinth area we're in, um, has, like, all of these ruins that are reminiscent of, or seem to be, uh, a part of some, I guess, ancient culture? Like, it, it, it seems like there was some city or something, like some ancient uh, city that was maybe, like, buried underground by, perhaps due to the destruction caused by the Dread Dragon Kila, I'm not really sure. But it's just cool how, like, so many of the backgrounds have these, like, you know, like there, there's, like, a castle in the background right now, and, you know, I'm in some sort of man-made structure. But then there are other places in the, in the, in the, in the labyrinth that are just, like, caves and stuff. I like that. I like that idea of, like, an underground castle. It reminds me of, uh, actually it reminds me of another manga. There's a manga called, um, Delicious in Dungeon that, um, I actually think, uh, in terms of, like, ep or in terms of issues that are available in, uh, like, American print, uh, they're up to volume 9, and I think they're actually near the end of the story. I believe the story ends with volume, um, 10. But, uh, the cons- I, I won't get too much into the concept behind it, but the setting behind it is that there is, like, a, a labyrinth underground that is basically sort of like this. It's like a cave, um... It, like, imagine if, like, an entire civilization just, like, sunk underground. That's effectively what happened in this this manga. There's, like, a... Like, the, the top point, like, the entrance point for this, um, dungeon is actually, like, the highest tower in, the, in this castle. So, like, you enter from the top of the castle and go downward. It's pretty cool. It, it's, it's sort of the same thing that they had in, uh, Kirby Superstar in the, um in the Great Cave Offensive. So, I like that concept. The whole, like, underground castle concept. It's really cool. That's, that, that's my interest in archaeology, speaking of, and again, though. I think I've always thought the idea of, like, underground ruins and ancient civilizations are just fascinating. Especially ones that leave ruins. But I want to go to Central America someday, but I don't know when. I think... Oh, this. This is one of the more obnoxious sections of Zim's area. What you have to do is... It is a series of columns that you do in the same way. You just do that. Go, go here. And you go back up to the top, and you do it again. And if you mess up, you can do that. That's all you do, and there's like eight of them. It goes on forever. Down, 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 down. And the last one needs to go the other way. Bam. So you can go through. You go back up. You do it again. Meanwhile, snails poke you in the face the entire time. It's like, stop it, snails. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to do this. Down, 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 down. Now, admittedly, the first time I did this, I thought you had to move them all to the left, all to, all to the right. So it was much more difficult. Then, then I realized that you could actually just do this. Like, as I'm doing that, I'm actually just holding the button, and the default is to move it to the left, because that's the direction I was heading in. Um, so it's not as bad as it, as it was the first time I did it. It's still pretty obnoxious that they make you do it this many times. Like, you have to do this over and over and over again. Why? 
It's just such a nuisance. Down, 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 down. To the other side. That way. Back up we go. Hey, yay, hey, hey. yay. Over. Down, 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 down. And the other way. Go over. There we go. Oh, shoot, this episode's going on for a while. All right, but I tell you what, I will finish going through this sort of obnoxious area, and in the next episode, we'll start with the next place that Zim gets to. So I hope you'll come back to me for that. I am the Moy Chicken. This is more Legacy the Wizard. Thanks for stopping by. Down, 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 down. Oh, I can't do it. I messed it up. Oh, no. No, I messed it up.